items. So far I don't see any. No items. Oh yes, yes, yes. Something shiny on top of the beam. Stone mirror. Ah, my curiosity is rewarded. My adventurous nature is rewarded. It's a good thing they have her walking slow with these controls, because you could easily fall off and bust your ass. Oh shit! <laughs> see what I mean? Gosh. I was just I was holding the same direction I've been holding. This doesn't look familiar. Oh, shit. Oh, is it? This looks like it's gonna be a fight. I probably should have saved. But it's okay, I didn't... If I do die, I'll just cut it, pick it up in this area. When I come back, it's not too hard to get back here. Oh. Kid it. What is wrong with your eyes, girl? Nobody's eyes should be that black. Scary. Very scary. It's so quiet. Uh, won't let me go back. Like you had your chance to save, asshole. There's a painting with there's a painting with frightful colors here. Could it mean something? Gotta gotta put on my uh Miku voice. Forgot all about that voice. Damn mirrors. Surprised there hasn't been no mirrors here. A powerful force holds the door shut. There doesn't seem to be any blah blah blah. There's a painting with blah blah blah. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. It's too quiet in here. Shit. What's supposed to be done here? Alright, just mash the X button. <sighs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a terrible camera angle. F you guys. This is a cage of some sort. I guess this is where they kept Kirei when she was just... Or kept all their sacrificial... Oh, all their sacrificial... All, all the people they were going to sacrifice. There is a piece of holy mirror under the Shinto game. Whoa! It's the fourth piece. One more piece and the mirror is complete. Oh, oh shit. I wouldn't touch that. Kirei's hairpin. I got a beautiful golden hairpin. Maybe it was Kirei's. That woman in the prison. There was something on the desk! That could have been herbal medicine. That could have been sacred water, which is rare. That the music sounds unfitting. I like that music though. Straight out of an RPG. Shit. Kire and Mafuyo? No, it's not him. Maybe it's the man she loved when she was alive. There's still something here. There's an old diary written in charcoal ink where the holy mirror used to be. Kire's diary. While I was looking out the window today, I saw somebody walking in the garden. He didn't notice me. He was just walking around leisurely, gazing at the trees and hills. I saw him again today, walking in the garden. He saw me once, too, and waved to me. I don't know why, but my face got hot, and I ducked out of sight. When I told the chief priest about it, he was terribly surprised. He told me I wasn't to look out the window again for a while. She's got the hots for Mufuyo? Looks like there's a diary on top of the old desk. Damn, how many more diaries? 
A straggling ritual will be held soon. The master and the priests are performing their abs their, their ablu ablutions. Yeah, and it looks like the whole family has gathered here at the mansion for the ritual. This mansion is usually so lonely, but for but for today anyway, it's bustling with life. One of the priests was staring at me today. He looked so sad. I'm the rope shrine maiden. I have a very important obligation to fill. Fulfill. But how can I perform my duty as the Shrine Maiden now, feeling the way I do, now that I've found out the true joy of living? Now that I've gone and, for and gotten that poor man involved. I put Kiri's diary in my file. Could this be talking of recent activity? Because, I don't know, I've been thinking Kiri is like some somebody who's been dead for a while, and maybe all this calamity or insanity chaos happened recently, and before you was like around this mansion at some point and fell in love with the... One of the girls, or... But the girl looks kind of young, though. I put Kyure's diary in my file. They wouldn't have a fight here, would they? That'd be just wrong. I can see a backyard with a well. Only one window. The only connection to the world. I found a diary written in charcoal ink between some old books. Gosh! Okay, I just got creeped out for a second because I could hear like what sounded like sobbing, like light sobbing. And when you got the headphones, <laughs> when you got the headphones on, it's a little I, like that. That could have been behind me for real, for all I knew, because it just sounded like it was coming from like way behind me. It was weird. Okay, today is the day I get to walk outside. I was walking in the mansion's atrium when he suddenly appeared from out of the guest room. It's the first time I've talked to an outsider since I came here. It was so much fun. He came to see me. He let me out of the room and we went outside. He taught me the names of all the flowers. Everything about this is so new to me. My face got hot again. Today. But I didn't want to hide this time. I put Kiri's diary in my file. The fuck? Okay. He came to see me again. Today the chief priest said we mustn't go out into, into the garden. So we just stayed in the room and talked. He told me so many interesting things about the outside world. I feel so happy when I'm with him. So very, very happy. I walked in the garden with him today. How beautiful the cherry blossoms are. He, he's taught me so much since we've met. I've never even, f I've, I've never f even feel lonely anymore. What? I, I never even feel lonely anymore. Okay. Yeah, that made sense. Alright. Nothing else? Nothing else. Ah! Girl in white. <sighs> uh -uh. Can't have a fight in here. It's too too small. Okay. I hope they don't expect me to fight something like this. Oh, this is that one big ass ghost. She let me let me get to some open to an open area. Although I'm pretty sure my weaponry won't have any effect. Oh shit. Did I get away or what? What the hell just happened? I'm just running for the sake of running right now. I don't know what to do. <sighs> oh, Kiri's hairpin. Let me, let me. That's one item I got. I forgot all about it. You cannot use this item here. I wasn't trying to actually. A hairpin ornamented with gold. It has two prongs. Hmm. I have no idea where that must go. Try to go back in that room. It's probably a bad idea, though. Maybe I need to go back to that one room. Shit. 
Shit, I don't know. I have no idea. Um. Alright, I'm gonna save and cut it. I feel like I've done too much. Really, though, I haven't. I've just endured a lot of cutscenes and gathered some stuff. I should just keep going. A lot of what I've done, I can easily do again. It's not going to come back, is it? I believe this takes me to uh, a room that looked like it could be Kiri's room. Yeah, this is the room I was peeping in. Like a peeping Tom. Bird watching. It looks like there's a diary in front of the doll. Curious diary, alright. It's been five days already since he stopped coming. When I asked about it, the chief priest told me he'd gone back to his home village. Why would he leave all of a sudden like that? Especially now. When I soon want when I when I soon won't be able to see him anymore at all. I had a dream about him. He was looking at me with sad eyes. Such sad eyes. His eyes looked like they wanted to tell me something. He didn't go home. <sighs> he didn't go home. The priest did something to him. But why? Put Kiri's diary. Damn! I'm getting dry mouth, damn it. The priests hid him because they thought I wouldn't have been able to properly be the shrine maiden otherwise. What did I get him into? It's all my fault. I just wanted to be with him. I wanted us to be together forever. Forever and ever. That's all I wanted. I didn't want him to get hurt. Alright, no more. There's an old Japanese doll here, blah blah blah, no dust though. Shit. What? The door is now shut. Shit. It's crazy. All right. Well, <sighs> you know, until we actually defeat something, well, I feel like okay, I need to save, or at least something that we need to defeat, because I a lot of like I said, a lot of what I did, I could do again easily. Yeah, we don't want to go back over there. I don't know, I guess I gotta keep going to rooms where... and find documents or something, or... Is that a floor still gone? Yeah. Still falling through. I can go in here, alright. I don't trust this place. Uh, this is the place that we were walking over. There's an old scroll on the altar. Priest's Manual. The mirror blessed with five gods. The mirror blessed with, blessed with the five gods' protection repels disaster. When the gate opens, stand before the mirror rock, which is in front of the gate, and point the mirror at the gate, then seal it with the maiden's rope. All elements mentioned above must be present for the rituals to succeed. We must prevent the calamity at all costs. That is the God-given duty of the Himuro family. I put the Himuro family priest's manual in my file. So I'm assuming they were doing their rituals, and they didn't do it right, shit hit the fan, and that's why this place is haunted and terribly horrible. There's an old scroll at the top of the staircase. Priest's manual! More of them! No document records. The history of the gate in the mansion's basement. The her No record... No document rec re records the history of the gate in the mansion's basement. The Hermoros have been given the duty of protecting the gate. They built a shrine on this land and performed the rope ritual. We must prevent the calamity at all costs. That is the duty of the Hermoro family. I put the Hermoro family priest's manual in my file. Oh, gosh! Is there more? Ah, there's an old scroll at the top of the staircase. Priest's manual again! The gate is the entrance to the land of the dead. It has been feared the re it has been feared and revered since ancient times. If the gate seal fails, the calamity will occur. Uh. And the malice will pour out from the from hell. The souls of those touched by the malice are bound to this world and cannot be saved. We must prevent the calamity at all costs. That is the duty of the Hermoro family. I put their blah blah blah. 
Yada yada yada. What else is there? There's, there's files all over the place. Alright, nothing else in here. Okay. What? The door is nailed shut. Shit! So they're definitely trying to make me only go into certain areas. I'm not getting attacked by anything, which is fine by what? Oh. Which is fine by me. <sighs> nah, I'm pretty sure I don't need to go over there. That bathhouse is just bad news, man. I have, it's just narrow spots with the planks and stuff. Like, you're guaranteed to get stuck on stuff if you have to fight something. I've had so many horrible fights in there, I'm not going in that direction ever. hairpin. I still got this hairpin. Don't know what to do with it. This this apparition hairpin. Door is nailed shut. So they definitely want you to go to only to specific areas. Of course this is oh wow okay. Alright. Yeah so whatever is supposed to happen is supposed to happen here. I'm assuming I need to go back to that one spot. The place that allowed all this to happen. The place with the big cabinet. The haunted cabinet. The spooky cabinet. If this is locked too, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. Fuck. Uh, okay. I was like, what's going on? I don't think there's anything going on in here. Something is reflecting. Ah, yes! I'm alive again. Alright, I think I'm gonna cut it here, guys. I'm fucking tired. I mean, I'm freaking tired. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, what do I do? Do I use the hairpin? This might trigger a major fight. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want that. Oh, 37 minutes. Alright, guys, I'm going to cut it here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to use Miku's hairpin when I get back. And that'll be that. Whew. Lots of progress. I'm very happy. This is the G virus. Trying to put the final nail in the coffin of Fatal Frame forever. At least as far as I'm concerned. Jeez. Fatal Frame blind forever. Alright, when I get back, we'll have some more fun with this game. Although, it really hasn't been much fun lately, but... <sighs> progress is always fun, so I've been having fun for, what, the past 15 minutes or so. Alright, stay tuned, I'll be right back. The blink of an eye, the G-Virus. Okay! We are back with more Fatal Frame action. I'm gonna throw in this hair, this, yeah, hairpin, and see what goes down. There's a pedestal in front of the mummy. Its recess is shaped like a hairpin. Then that's our cue. There's a place in front of the mummy for inserting something. Use Kiri's hairpin. Let the drama begin. Oh, I heard a, a little noise over by the door. Alright. No cutscene. I was definitely expecting a cutscene, but okay. I think the door unlocked. Well, let's find out. Meek. Mm, so much bass. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Couldn't see it. Oh, shit. Music change. Oh, God. What is this? What is going on? Sacred ropes are wrapped around the stone pillar. 